Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, playing Unity of Command 2. This is the Desert Rats DLC. We are up to disaster in Sierra Natia, March 30th, 1941. With supply lines stretched beyond capacity and most formations in dire need of rest or replenishment, 13th Corps halted its advance near Bida Farm after destroying the Italian 10th Army. Plans to complete the conquest of Libya were put on hold as Allied attention and reinforcements swiveled to Greece, where German intervention seemed imminent. A static Cyrenaceia command took over the defense of Cyrenaceia. Its few untested and dispersed units were ill-equipped to handle the arrival of fresh German mechanized formations led by General Erwin Rommel, the same Rommel who dashed through France while in charge of the infamous Ghost Division. It's an eight-turn scenario. This is not the first time I've tried this scenario. Uh, it's a completely defensive scenario. Uh, first... The first uh, scenario where supply is not really an, something that you have to worry about. But uh, we have to hold, hold this until turn two. Masseuse until turn five, as well as Benghazi. Uh... 10 gender, with the main objectives being Bars up here and Michelli. Uh, on both of my previous tries, they took either this one or this one on the very last turn. So those are going to be our objectives. Just get our guys. to defend the main objectives. I'm not at all concerned with the secondary objectives. That's kind of a lame way to play. I know, but... I do want to get past this scenario, so... Alright, prep phase is done. There isn't anything we could do for the uh, units further out, except fall them back. Make it hard for them to race up this road. Okay, he's on Bars. We'll get him on Benghazi. Gonna bring our headquarters down a little further, so maybe we can get these guys in the command radius before they come under attack. He's going to have to race across the desert to get up here. Um, I might actually send my armor up there as well. And have these three units to protect uh, Bars. Uh, we get the air attack, so let's... Go for the weakest one. Okay. I could always try what the uh, AI does to me. Just let them advance towards M Michelli, then come in behind them and cut their supply line. That may actually be not a bad idea. Okay, let's move you a little bit further down. Have you take up position here? You can't entrench because you moved. Uh, neither can you. Really don't want to sacrifice my tank here. This is just a secondary objective, so if they take it, whatever. 
they didn't, so we're going to, uh, we actually, uh, only had to hold that until turn two, so. We'll get you up there. Have you start falling back. And drop this, uh, supply depot down. Actually, just gonna take it out so they don't take it. Start moving everybody back. Right, everybody is in command radius. Sure, they don't take my supplies. Okay, Muse by turn five. We're not going to hold that. Benghazi, we may hold. Result there. Hey, this guy's gonna get up here to us fairly easy. Thinking about bringing him out here so that when he comes up this way, we can cut the supply line. All right, so Benghazi's got to hold until turn five. I'm somewhat confident that's going to happen. It's like they're sending everything they have over here. Yep. Oh, this guy's going to be completely cut off. I didn't even think about that. Oh, 
Well, they have adapted their strategy quite a bit. But if we come down here, we can cut their supplies. We just cut their supplies, so. And you can come down here, take that supply depot, then move in like this. Uh, you dig in. You dig in. Uh. Okay. Well, they didn't like us doing that. Wow, that sucked for him. Okay, so Benghazi's safe. So is this, surprisingly enough. Let's get you back up here. Uh, you. Take that supply depot. up. Uh, these guys... Oh, the one. Wow. Okay. Oh, the two. Again, I don't know why I had him digging in Benghazi up there. This is going to be the last turn, so hopefully, we're safe out here. These guys are both out of supply, they can't really do anything. So we're going to pull you back, pull you back, drop our depot in Benghazi so they can't resupply. We're going to send you around to take this depot. Well, you'll be a nice distraction for him. Uh, you are going to dig in. Unfortunately, they can't dig in. But we did manage to take out their supplies. Well, it's caused a decent amount of damage here. It's a one to nothing on one. There, combat ineffective. At least for this turn. But he got wiped out, so. Alright. See what he does. I watch him have something over here I didn't see. And then he comes and takes the objective. So we only missed out on uh, one of the secondaries. We held all the other ones. Um, that was... Uh, I don't know why I didn't try that the first time. Uh, or the second time, actually. The first time having him charge across the desert like that kind of caught me off guard. And uh, that was the objective that fell on the last turn. Um, I should have thought about just coming in behind him and taking his supplies out of the picture so he couldn't attack. 
Uh, God knows they do that to me often enough in this game. So, anyway, that's going to do it for the disaster at Cyrenaceia. Uh, up next is the Ethiopian Blitz. Uh, 15 turns, so that one might be kind of long. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you'd like to follow along through the rest of the Desert Rats DLC on Unity of Command, by all means, hit the subscribe button, and you can come along. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.